Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I'm Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Hello and welcome, folks. Cerny, what's so funny? <laughs> I'm just doing some show prep. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there's... We're back into our show prep here. This is a very... This is one of the episodes that I think you will want to put in your back pocket and use every once in a while, a couple times during the year. Chip and Cern are going to learn you guys how to navigate... The craziness that is the holiday season. Yes. By saying that, mostly dealing with your family. <laughs> the royal you. <laughs> so, we're coming up upon Thanksgiving and some say Christmas, some say Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa. the winter holiday to be super PC. Is Thanksgiving, what's PC? It's just Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, I think that's, a, that's not a religious thing, that's a net. Yeah. National holiday. National holiday. So usually these are like the top traveled, you know, holidays for the American people. Are you traveling? Are you hosting? I was informed we were hosting. Mm, I also got the same (laughs) note myself. Um, We are hosting Thanksgiving, Christmas, or... Despite my parents, I actually call it Xmas, and uh, <laughs> I took the Christ out of Christmas, um, so it's Xmas. And my mom every time corrects me and says, "You, your father won't like just it's Christmas." I'm like, "Mom, Xmas, it's Xmas? fine." Oh. And so uh, we don't even know about there, but the Thanksgiving we're hosting. So what this involves is how many people? I want to say potentially 10 so not a ton like usually we're go somewhere uh-huh. um and then it's much more but i think it's like uh you know uh the cousins and stuff are going elsewhere to their girlfriend's house or okay. something okay. so okay. it's kind of being spread up so now it's kind of like the core uh not even my family my wife's family okay so um <laughs> cerny what about you you're hosting here hosting here and i think it's my wife's family too. I don't know about my family. Okay, I'm sure my brother will will come over. I'm sure mine will stop by at some point. But I'm sure he will too. And uh, so here, Cerny and I were talking about this earlier. A lot of it is like, and you don't see some family members like you know monthly or whatever. There's a lot of stress that comes up. Certain family members stress out other <clears throat> family members, <laughs> wives, whatever. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, whether it's, it could be, oh, my father-in-law always drives me up a wall because, you know, he doesn't like my scotch selection and he always busts my balls about the scotch or something. This is hypothetical. <laughs> this is, doesn't actually happen. But like, you know, or he doesn't like the beer we have or, you know, God damn it, Cerny can't cut the turkey for shit. I hit, why do they always <laughs> let him cut the fucking turkey? He doesn't cook it right. You're supposed to put a beer up its ass and then put the deep fryer. You know, like... There's just this shit that kind of weighs on you, and um, do you have any? Do you have any like battles that you already are trying to fend off that you know that are going to happen? Uh, no, I usually don't pre-plan it. Actually, I yeah, just play it by you ear. Play it. That's play that's, it how, that's how I do. Now, what would be your your one tip, well, Cern? What's your one tip to kind of like navigate the holiday season from a host perspective? Because I, I recently hosted a, a party for my, my daughter was turned a very one. Good party. Thank you, Cerny. As a host, I would rate myself earlier in the day, maybe like a seven and a half, eight. I think I was doing all right, like trying to mingle. I'll give you like a nine. You were mingling. You were doing you were working the room. And then, I liked it. And then a little heavy on the sauce. And by the end of the party, I think I probably should have you know, just gone and taken a nap or something. 
and I, <laughs> I, I probably should have stopped drinking the wine, I think, what would what, what have boiled down to it. So my tip would probably, for hosting, just like with golf, oh. you want to get to the good the good buzz to kind of take... <clears throat> cause, the edge. Yeah. It's it's not really good to drink when you have a problem to like make that problem go away. That's not a normal habit you want to get yourself yeah. into. But for the holiday <laughs> not for season, life. right? Not not for work. Like you don't want to come home every day from work. Like tough day. Let me have a sixer for myself. <laughs> but you know you have the the, the in laws coming over. Maybe your mom yeah. is a you know. I know my mom is always kind of like nitpicking and food and stuff. And we have. Uh, dietary restrictions that are going to cause problems that I already can for- foresee this happening. <laughs> I like to to have a have a drink for myself before everyone gets there. That way, I kind of got a little agree. bit. I'm at, I'm up at a ten stress, and you know, I mean, you know, your wife is feeding into you, or like. Oh, well, your mom's coming and she always does this type of thing. And you're like, okay. And you know, it's just yeah. rack- racketing yeah, itself. Yeah, usual, just ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. You know, I've had to deal with her for a very long time. Then you've only had to deal with her for as long as we've been married. So I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> I got you beat. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Chip's advice would be to have maybe just a an average size glass of wine. Okay. Or a beer. You don't want to get into the hard stuff. No. If if, if you must get in the hard stuff, one right before the guests come over, sorry, that's you're asking for if fucking trouble. If right you there. must, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know how, I don't, I don't know, know, know what kind of problems that you have, <laughs> but mine don't require the hard stuff. Yeah. For the for the party that I just so had, usually. So are you stressed out? I'm stressed because I know that my wife is going to be stressed. Okay. But yeah, I'm. I mean, I I am stressed on the amount of people that are coming over because I want I want everyone to be happy. Yeah, and have a good time. That is a that is a worrisome. Yeah, and it's like oh, you know, whether it's the food coming out on time or if they have the right things to eat or drink or they're having fun, like I will probably do too much effort to make sure they're having a good time. Uh-huh. So that kind of stresses me out, and if it's. Uh, a lot of people, I kind of get sort of overwhelmed, I guess. Yeah. So that right. stresses me out, too. So usually, my wife does get really stressed. Yeah. And I usually like to play the opposite. Try to be play. Do you play cool, but you're actually stressed? Or Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm a little stressed. Yeah. I don't think I'm as, as, as much. Usually, I'm kind of, mm, okay. I mean. Yeah, and I know I got this from my, my mom, but I, like... My house, my house has to be somewhat put together and cleaned because you know people are coming over. Even yeah. though you know they're going to destroy the house, you yeah. have to be, have to be really nice. Present. And you're like, oh my god, the dogs are going to go crazy, or you know whatever the situation is. Oh, it's raining, and then the shoe. And you know, uh-huh. I just am constantly working through these situations. As you can see, I'm a fucking nightmare to deal with. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> what a saint your wife is. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's wonderful, and. So I will have a small, like before the party, I uh, hopped in the shower real quick. I had myself a half a shower beer oh, okay. in there. Just you know, okay, let's let's take it down a little bit, and then we could we can hang out. And then I got into the red wine, and that's where that's where it got sideways <laughs> after a couple hours. But um, a couple hours red wine, got yeah. Sideways. But no, I mean the tough now. I luckily haven't had this happen and I, I don't know if you have but you can always let us know uh any fights like here's what happens sometimes is you know this side of the family comes or you know your brother really hates his sister and this is the two times a year that they meet and you know they're just gonna be at each other's throats the whole time like what do you do in that situation i have not have had that um i don't think i've had that it was we had something close with my brother's now ex girlfriend. Mm. We had mm. to, for some reason, we had to go to her, her parents' house, Oof. which which boggles your mind. It's her, it's her girlfriend, and we're going to her fucking parents' house. Well, I mean, they were long term, still. But okay, it, her, my brother's girlfriend. Wait, you guys had to go. Uh, yeah, we had to go. I was like, uh, okay. okay. I could I would have probably said we're okay. But 
I think I did. From you there got dragged. From, you got from there yeah. on out. Um, she had a sister that was bipolar or something. Mm-hmm. The self diagnosed. Right. <laughs> my, Psychologist my, CERN has diagnosed <laughs> her as bipolar. And it was really awkward the conversations. It was just, you know, they would kind of, it was like a movie you know, where they talked to her and she'd just give the real short horseshit answer. Yeah. Like, yes, mother. You know, it was like, oh, oh my God. God. Okay. 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 And then. So how did you, I think for a, now here, I don't know, this could just be my perspective, but yes, they are family and they're always going to be family, but I would just, I would actually just not invite them. I know that will probably cause more problems, but if, <laughs> you know, I had some siblings that didn't get along, I would just either not invite both of them or like tell one or the other, like, if you guys aren't going to be able to fucking get over it, one of you doesn't, don't come. Don't yeah. fucking ruin my day because you got your yeah, panties wadded up. Day. Thanks. Yeah, this is the day the the Indians gave corn to the pilgrims, or with vice versa. Yeah, they're sharing. Yeah, the breaking bread, planting corn and burying fish by the corn to make it grow. Isn't that I learned that in Pocahontas? <laughs> so which which Cerny? I will ask you this. <laughs> yeah, Chris, uh, with the winter holiday or Thanksgiving, which which is tougher to navigate? Christmas. Oh, I would agree. It's tougher to, everybody wants to see everybody, but it's like, yeah. you know, but the separate, you got to share time and plan it out. So I actually yeah. don't plan any of it out. It kind of just, Ooh, that's I nice. Let my wife. Yeah. Let her handle your itinerary. And then let me know when I'll nix it or. Where you're, where you're needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're needed. If it's, okay. I, I like that. Now. Fit into a recording session. <laughs> that's Ooh, true. I already booked oh, it with yeah. Chip. No, that's true. This is hissing noise going on. Do you hear that? Or is that just my headphones? Maybe your headphones. Okay. Well, I they're know. going out or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, Christmas, I would say for sure. And you have the thing of gifts going on as well. And then usually um, the weather's usually piss poor. Yeah. Thanksgiving, you might get lucky. It might be just be really cold. Usually. I mean, around in California, usually you get the rain and stuff around the holidays. Yeah, but usually it'll be good enough. For you. Mud football, after, you know, during halftime, one of the football games. Is so that's fun. Thanksgiving yes. is usually this big gorging yourself, eating, you know, the, whatever bickering or talking is going on is usually solved once there's the whole yeah. feast because you're not talking, you're stuffing your face. Stuffing your face, and, and now the now the wine parts starts over, pouring, and yeah, now the wine's flowing. And then after that, I mean, at least the most ones that I go to, you everyone kind of retreats, sort of to the the entertainment area. The game's on, and yes. you're every, everyone's like, either I'm going to go take a quick nap, uh-huh. or uh, you know, I'm going to fall asleep in my chair watching the game, right? <laughs> or I, you know, get beer or get some more wine or whatever. So I guess our recommendation is to drink wine. (laughs) (laughs) Pound the booze. Right. Pound the booze. I would say if you can potentially eliminate any stressors that you know are going to be a problem, it would be helpful. Now, I have tried to reach out before to to preempt something that I knew was going to happen. Okay. And... It kind of created a little bit of a bigger issue, obviously, as you would, as you might gather or you might guess that would happen. But yeah. I don't know. I think I kind of tried to like, well, you know, uh, Susie doesn't like when you do this. So if you could just try not to. And okay. then it's like, oh, well, you know, fuck, you know, not fuck them. But, oh, well, I don't think I do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, a, it's oh, a personal attack. yeah. Like, OK. OK. I don't know what to do now in the situation. But. Now, going and traveling, because this is what I've been doing for the past several years, going to someone's place. Okay. You you can't be too heavy on the booze because you got to drive around unless you your wife's driving or somebody's driving. Drives. So that's a, the okay. baby thing is, is she does not like my driving. Oh. She says it's, and she gets car sick, so it's a double. Oh, so interesting. So when she's passenger, she can get car sick. But you don't get car sick when you're driving? I guess not. I don't know. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to bring her in. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't get car sick, but that's nonetheless. That's that's what, that's it what is. happens. So, 
So since I'm forever a passenger, yeah. forever a DD you right. will be. <laughs> now, you're not getting, I don't think you're getting like slot, you, you're no. not puking out the side of no. the thing like it's your birthday or something. <laughs> or a wedding or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I do remember that. I almost made it home, but uh, did a block away. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, let's get the hose out when we get home. Oh. You don't want to get so sloppy because that's one more thing. And you have to keep the peace with your whole base camp at home. Yeah. So if you got kids, you got to keep all them happy. And you don't want to come back. Nothing's worse than coming back from a stressful situation with, with the family. Only to find out you drank too much and your wife had to babysit you and that just pissed her off. Yeah, you're in trouble. So now you're in trouble for a yeah. couple of days. <laughs> so you got to keep an even keel on the booze. Find find the zone. Yeah. Like we said before, the peak. Right. The the, the good buzz. It's kind of like driving, and I haven't ever driven a manual car, but you know you can't just like slam the clutch all the way in and then let it totally off. Not, you got to kind of yeah. <laughs> Certainly, correct. I don't never heard of a standard. <laughs> you got to ease. It's a it's a, it's a throttling, the balance. Yeah, yeah, balancing act. So you know, I would say pace yourself. Pace yourself. And there's all. It seems like there's always accidents around the holidays, so you don't want to be fucking mixed up in that nonsense, especially no. with belly full of red wine. Some booze. Usually, I kind of kind of just. I'm in my own zone. You do you kind of do your own thing? Yeah. Do you have certain family members or extended family members that you're like, oh, I like talking with my Uncle Joe? Yeah. I'll always yeah, go yeah. catch up with him. Yeah, he knows baseball. Yeah. And okay. I'm, I think I'm the same way um, in that manner as well. We'll kind of chat it up. And then I always like on Thanksgiving, and uh, stay tuned for the Chip and Cern Black Friday. Um, Edition. Black Friday edition. I always like looking at the ads, scoping where yes. the deal might be. That's the fun thing, too, about Thanksgiving. So, and that's usually what my wife and I will, I'll bring the ads from the from the paper. Okay. Or yeah. actually, I don't even do that. I usually just bring my template. Now it's, yeah, it's yeah. online now. Yeah. And I kind of, <clears throat> okay, so here's where we're at. This is where we're going to try the game plan. Game plan. Yeah, that, that is fun. And so, actually, I think Thanksgiving is probably one of the easier ones to navigate. I think it is. You got a... The, Realistically, it's, it's a dinner. But like an al- early dinner, really three, late two, lunch. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So you're, a lot of the time, you don't have to show up until That's true. before. Yeah. If, you know, or if you're hosting, then... Right. Then you got then your you, fucking, you're up at seven because you're cooking yeah. a bird or whatever. Yeah, or your tofurkey, in my case. Um, yeah. So the nice... Well... Sometimes what I've noticed when you're hosting, you kind of get out of the dishes. It is because nice. some, and it's norm or normal. Sometimes it's commonplace of like, you know, everyone will be like, "No, no, no, you did all the work. Let us do the dishes." Yeah, type thing, which is nice. I think that's good. I do agree. So that kind of would be would be nice. But now I'm trying to think. Now of hosting, you have the day after. Because you know at night you're not going to fucking clean up the plates and everything. Yeah, I'm going to fuck it. Yeah. And then if Especially you're going to Black shot, Friday. Yeah. Now it starts at what, six, five, six? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we don't want to... And you can't get too blasted anymore and go shopping. Unless it's, you know, I got a DD, so... that Certainly you keep bringing up good points. They're counteracting my <laughs> tips that I'm trying to get. Shit, shit all over. Right. <laughs> so the Chip and Cern... How to for Thanksgiving is get there no earlier than you have to. Yes. And if you, if you're, if it's a high stress situation, maybe indulge yourself in a drink before to kind of ease the, ease the situation. And usually I usually take a stance of it's a dinner. Okay. I'm not going to get wrapped up, I, you know, in the kind of, you know, I yeah. kind of don't, it's, it's a in dinner. The drama. At the end of the day, it's a dinner. Yeah. Now, there are certain family members that I'm sure mm-hmm. that maybe they're not even doing too much, but by the fact of them being there, <laughs> it agitates the shit out of you. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I how you doing? It. Hey, I, fuck right. you. Listen here in sixth grade. I remember. 
I am not in your mood for your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, that's the fucking Tony right. talking to me. See what I mean? No, I don't. Back talking right, right now. My own house. So you come in, say your hello, hellos. I'd probably make a beeline right for the. Where what, the what, do on, what do you got on? What do you wine yeah. or what, what do you got in the fridge? Uh, psh, psh, crack a little brewski. Then I would say settle up to your favorite family member. Whether that be your uncle, aunt, or whatever, talk shop with them, talk whatever it is, football, baseball, hockey, yes, sports, Black Friday, whatever your poison, chat them up. Kind of, as Cerny said, nestle into your own, like make your own world for yourself. Yeah. And you'll kind of get the satellite family members that will kind of come over and try to like latch yeah, on. Yeah, you doing, yeah. But then, here we go. Uh, good tip here. Dive Dive another two levels deeper on that conversation because uh, you know you and Uncle Ron, he can only go the experts. He can go really deep into like mid eighties Giants lineup. Uh, he goes Jeffrey Leonard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> start talking Ray uh, Larkin. With, no Ray Langford <laughs> with him. That's not mid eighties. That's Becky. yeah. When he had too oh, much. rip rip rip. Is he dead? <laughs> is he? Oh, yeah, look it up. Step boy, Step boy Dana. Dana where is he? Um, go a little deeper, and that will. That'll pop out that that weird cousin that you don't like that he's uh you know just been playing Pokemon all the time. <laughs> now here's something you know our our generation quote unquote Cerny gets a lot of rap for being on our phones all the time. Yeah. Do you want to make sure you're bringing extra battery packs along your charger, especially with this Pokemon out? Yeah, I am not true. opposed to. Ooh, you got to catch some gas leads. Yeah, I do. He's still alive, by the way. He's still alive. How many arms? One. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Dave Drabecki. He's alive and he has <laughs> one arm. Still. He's st- Still. It's not, it's his uh, right. The left. He's lefty, wasn't he? But is that what he. Oh, he lost the left. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. You're right. This is Dan corrected. Uh, while we're on the, the subject of one arm pitchers, uh, give me a status on Jim Abbott. Oh. <laughs> um, that's, I don't, those are the only one arm pitchers that I know. But isn't that fucking crazy that they can be in the major leagues? Anyway, sit in with the one uncle or whoever and and get in a good conversation with them. And this is not somebody that you're seeing on the regular. It's someone you see, you know, once at these family events. And and strap in. Then you get your wine. You get to you get yourself a good place. Mm-hmm. Buzz status. Jim Abbott. He's still alive. He's okay. married to Dan Abbott. How many He's how many arms? One and a half, I'm gonna say, because oh, he, he has, has like stump, the, he has right? like a stump. Yeah. But is it at the wrist or the elbow? Is it like the wrist? He has, it's like he's missing his hand or something. So he's not even in. He had like his glove right. rested on his stump. Weird. And what? then he would throw and then put the glove on. Yeah. And he's that's fucking. I that is like that's a marvel. Yeah, that is. That is a marvel. Not the superhero movies. Um, Born without a right hand. Okay. Wow. Anyway. You get your, talk about that one fucking sideways real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you so get, you get in the zone. You get yourself a good zone on the buzz to where, and here's what I do, because I know I have to drive. I get to the point to we, where... You I, can make a comeback. Yeah. Okay. And then I just stop and I fade away. Mm-hmm. I fade that buzz away. So I get the one, I get the three or four drinks... And then I know, okay, I'm here for a couple hours. I'm going to eat a lot of food. Okay. You know, whatever I know that I can legally drive, Okay, I, I get to that point, and then I fade away. So by the time we're leaving, I'm fucking good as gold. Good. Yes. And because you need, now with the kid, you know, you can't be fucking sloppy drunk unless <laughs> no. it's your kid's birthday. <laughs> Whoops. Um, She's taking a nap. Right, right yeah. She's she taking a nap. Yeah, that's true. She was. Because um, you know you're going to be shopping. So yeah. during the dinner... You kind of maybe sit near another family member that you have some chats with. Here's some things to avoid. Don't sit next to somebody that's going to trigger you. Yeah. Right, Cerny? Yes. You know, if it's, if you're. If, try not to sit across from them either. If you sit like this long Just sit table. the fucking opposite end of the table. Yeah. Yeah. Like if your mom bugs you and she's going to nitpick you, like, oh, you shouldn't be drinking so much. Oh, you should have some how green many, beans. How many glasses is that? Oh. Just sit at the opposite end. And then be like, don't don't entertain mother. Yeah, <laughs> don't entertain mother with this. 
Um, I do. I do agree with that. Get in your comfort zone. Yeah. Get a nice buzz. A, an edge killer. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Stay away from the triggers. Hang out with Keep people that you enjoy. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. And even if that's your brother or your sibling, like someone that you're in regular contact with, then so fucking. It is what it is. It is what it is. <clears throat> then, after lunch, go enjoy yourself some football. Check out the ads if you're doing the Black Friday thing. Listen to the Chip and Cern Show Black Friday tell pod- it, podcast. Tell your your cool family. Yeah, just tell your family. Yeah, say hey, you know, there I found these guys on Chip and Cern Show dot com. They're <laughs> hot. They've been around for a year now. <laughs> and we're we're gonna go to Black Friday, and we're gonna listen to the Chip and Sh- Show. Long way to line. Black Friday, yeah, and get the tips and tricks on how to navigate Black Friday. Yeah, because talk about a f- couple of fucking pros. We're right here. I'm staring at him. We and Cerny and yeah, Amir. Yeah, and Amir. Oh, see, I'm That's staring at one. You're staring. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I got a little confusing. Um, um, we are. How long have we been doing Black Friday? <sighs> Sir, we can't get, we can't, we, we got to move on. Okay, we got to okay. move on. Okay, but, but a while. But just to hammer eight, your vet home. Eight at, years. At least eight years. Yeah. Eight year vets. <clears throat> of Black Friday. And we don't lose. No. We don't lose the fucking home run TV deal. No. We don't lose the computers. I don't think we've ever lost. No. We fucking, we're winners. Cerny and I are winners. This is why just you want to listen to it. Just a teaser for, yeah. for Black Friday. I actually had, to, I actually yelled. Oh. At a person in a wheelchair, so I couldn't lose because they tried to cut. <laughs> oh, I said we're not. I'm not playing. Not playing the sympathy card. Back of the bus. I have yanked something out of a uh, elderly lady's hand once, and then ran off in Walmart. Teasers, teasers, teasers. <clears throat> the Chip and Cern show how to navigate Black Friday tips and tricks coming to a uh, iTunes or Android Play Libsyn. or Libsyn near you. Um, so, and then you leave the Thanksgiving pretty easy. If you're hosting, you got your fucking work cut out for you. Cause it's yeah. a long fucking day. Now, if you have kids, <sighs> slaves, that's a good point. Like, Oh, you guys want to go gather dishes up? Yeah. Go wink. Rinse this up. Clean this up. Throw this out. Yeah. Uncle John is nodded off the table. Chris is going to be awfully sad if I miss the <laughs> <somebody>. library. <laughs> now, do you... <clears throat> when you're leaving, you packing up leftovers for yourself? Are you getting a couple good Tupperwares of leftovers, or are you just fucking leave it? I'm leaving it. I'm, you know what? I'm not... Turkey's good, but I'm not really... I don't like repeat turkey. I'll, I'll eat turkey for me, it's tur- but it's not like... You're not craving crave the it. turkey and Never cranberry crave. sandwich? No. The stuffing? No. <laughs> you don't, you're not a stuffing guy? No, I hate stuffing. Wow. So no stuffing, no me. gravy. So what are you doing? Mash? Do you like the sweet yeah, potato mash. with the mallow on top? Okay, so. Oh, boy. So, okay, no, let's hear it, no. Cerny. So, now, Cerny, so, Cerny's fucking saddling up now. Justin is Mike. Let's hear it. I always it. get chastised for this. I do not like sweet potatoes. I do not like yams. I do like them, Sam, I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the <clears throat> stuffing. So basically, I just do So what Cerny's plate look like? Turkey, salad, mashed potatoes, and, and a biscuit. Or, you know, like rolls. That's it. That's all butter in the mash? Like a, a you cut a cube of butter off and put it in there? Uh, no. no. So you got a pretty fucking plain. Pretty dry plate going yeah, on. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> put a little cranberry on the turkey? Oh, God, no. Green bean uh, uh, casserole? Green. No, no casseroles. I don't like it. If it's green beans. <laughs> Wait, you don't like green bean casserole? No. Or just what about just green beans? I like green beans, but but not with the French onion, uh, the funions on the top. No. You know how they do that. Now you mentioned salad. Is this like just some mixed greens, or is it a special like a holiday? You know, people will throw together their fucking big swinging dick salads at you know, oh cranberries or blue cheese and walnuts nah, and all this shit like, like that. I don't like that shit. I'll just have a salad. Whatever. Just the just, just salad. the salad. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty simple. Simple. You're not a big on the sides. No. Now, is there anything that's like, you know, Grandma Cerny always makes the best homemade uh, whatever, like pies or what is the big right. thing that's a big so, family thing? Of I'm the about Cernies? ready to be thrown out of here, but okay. <laughs> pies are not my thing either. Oh, Cerny. Don't. What do you have, a fucking cake? A Thanksgiving cake or something? Cheesecake. Cheesecake? Well, look out. I can get I can I can get behind that. Is it pumpkin? Does it have pumpkin in it? 
Uh, you know, I just had that for the first time the other day. It was pretty good. Oh, Cheesecake Factory? Is there a Cheesecake Factory? Uh, it probably is. Yeah, there's one over here. So there's nothing that any of your aunts or anyone, uncle or whoever brings that's like a special kind of tradition dish? No. 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 Okay. And then is your... Who who cooks the bird, your old man or... Whoever's you... hosting. Okay. So... Uh, my parents was last. I think yeah. Last year went. So my parents were cooked the bird. Okay. So I think since we're hosting this year, it's on us. Mm. What are you gonna do? Throw in the egg? I don't know. I don't cook the bird. I, ne- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking. I never was into. I don't eat meat. But when I did, they were like, "Oh, you want to cut it?" I'm like, "Not really. Like, just yeah. fucking do it. I just want to eat it." You know. Yeah. Now it's not uh, like this big ceremonial. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> fucking dinner. Now, you, you guys have Brussels sprouts or anything, or it sounds pretty traditional? Um, I th- We may have Brussels sprouts from time to time. Okay. And I'll eat those. those yeah. Wow. I can't go pretty to the Cerny's for Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, no, no pies? It, it, there's plenty of pies. So I just don't you just partake. don't partake. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. And there, uh, like last year, there was a banana cream, <clears throat> pro- banana cream pie, chocolate cream pie, pumpkin pie. I think there was a some sort of fucking berry pie and then an apple pie. Jesus, like how many people pie. are over? Ten people? You're going to have a half pie each? I mean, come There's on. There's plenty of pie left over. Yeah. I ain't touching none of that shit. And whipped cream or ice cream? Or both, probably. Uh, whipped cream. Okay. That's cider? Do you guys do an apple cider situation as well? Maybe for the kids. Yeah. But not, not for me. Now, wine. are the kids looking forward? Do they look forward to meeting, seeing everyone again? Or are they just like all the food? I think they like all the food and the, the they know no the school and all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's good. We're not, we try, uh, people try to force leftovers on us. Usually I'll try to hard pass yeah. on those. Um, my wife and I are both vegetarian, so we end up just eating a lot of the sides. Okay. So mostly sides. And I think I'm not really into like the tofurkey or the fake turkey shit. Yeah. So we don't even like, Mashed potatoes, biscuits, salad, all like the vegetable. I fucking love the sweet potato oh. thing. I love the green bean casserole. Like I'll just make my plate full of that and I'm fucking done. I'm, I'm lights out with that. Just <laughs> tons of carbs and just heavy food. There's nothing light about Thanksgiving nothing. meal. And you're usually drinking red. I haven't ever seen a bottle of white wine. Even it's sacrilegious to open a bottle of white wine. at. Oh, unless I think about it, I haven't, thought, I haven't seen that either. Unless, you know, you're pre-gaming at the 10 a.m. or something. <laughs> it's always red, and then it gets heavier, and you're just like, hold on. I, Look at I'm the legs fucking fall on this yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. So Thanksgiving, easier to navigate, because it is. Yeah. Now, we could okay. dive into Christmas right now, but okay. we've been rambling well, we have. for a while. You Christmas see how, is see a whole... how time flies more rambling? If you just ramble oh, yeah. with... Somebody you're close to, time flies when, when, yeah. when you're over there. And the football games so, are always good. How many football games do they have lined up this year? Shit, let me take a look. Okay. I'm going to say three and off the top of my head. but So back 10, 15 years ago, I always remember it was the Cowboys and the Lions. Yes. It was like the one game, right? Yes. And then they're like, well, that was good. Let's add a second. Oh, a couple of years ago, it was, the, it was the Seahawks Niners at... That's right. Candlestick and the Seahawks beat them. And Richard uh, Sherman, Sherman was eating a, chick- a turkey leg on the San Francisco logo in midfield. Um, I loved it. I, I loved would it. be surprised if there was less than three. So there's three games. Oh, my. What time do they start at this year? 9.30 is the Vikings and Lions. 9.30 in the morning. Yes. Eastern? No, Pacific. It's got to be Pacific. I don't know. I assume it's Pacific. Yeah, because you're uh, yeah. looking at my Yeah. Um, Redskins, Cowboys. Oh, Cowboys, Lions. Yeah. All right, one thirty, and then the Steelers and the Colts are at five thirty. Who the fuck scheduled that? So there's a huge gap. So I think they're trying to get the people in the morning before you leave compete with the hall, the parade, or yeah. whatever that shit. That doesn't seem like a good idea. And then they have in the that's a lot of fucking football too. We can't forget about our fantasy picks because if you forget that, you're, oh, fucked. you're that's fucked. Three, that's, that's three games that's right there. Down three. I hate it when I'm down one. Yeah. Ooh, the Rams play the Saints that week. Who are the... Could you give me a, a line on the, the Hawks the Buccaneers. there? Hawks are playing the Bucks. Yeah, in Tampa. 
We should have that. Yeah, the Niners are kick a fucking field goal to save our life. The Niners are going to lose the Dolphins. Oh, that could be. Dolphins are pretty good this season. They're going to get Trump. The Niners are going to get Trump. Yeah. (sighs) Now I'm already getting anxiety about it. (laughs) I'm already already (laughs) thinking like. He's not taking his own advice. (laughs) Oh, boy. I'm not. Okay. I'm not taking my own advice. Now, if you have any tips or tricks on how you navigate the holidays. Maybe Thanksgiving is a good one to start since it's, it's coming up yeah. here before you know it. Maybe you just get into a bottle of crown Royal and you just fucking lock into the lazy boy. <laughs> and that's all like you got your mom bringing you, you chase a dragon for everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just constantly glued to the football game. Let us know. I remember we would, uh, at, at, uh, when, at, at Tony's house, we would always have a little halftime, uh, football tag football game at the park. Yes, too. So that would happen. That's kind of a fun thing. Uh, I know sometimes after eating a lot, people like go out and they're like, "We're gonna go for a little walk, just kind of like work, work, it work out. some of this stuff <laughs> out a little bit." The tail yeah, not like you're trying to burn all the calories you just ate, but you're like, "I just need to like move around because I'm gravy's running through my veins right now." <laughs> but anyway, and no better time, I think, to share. This Chip and Cern show, Cerny, do you think, than yeah. Thanksgiving? In, in, the, in the spirit of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Give us some of your stories. Just like the pilgrims shared uh, crippling diseases with the Indians and, and the Native maize. Americans. And maize. Is Indians... <laughs> it's, well, I mean, I oh, guess I, it's politically I, correct because there's a baseball team named after them. Oh, I see. They're, they're trying to string them up for their... They're bringing back the woo, Chief Wahoo. Wahoo, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're upset. I mean... That is kind of in poor taste. <laughs> this is 2016. <laughs> but we also have someone running for president that has an orange face. So oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll have new president. We'll be locked in by Thanksgiving. So who yes. fucking knows? Oh, God. Do you think that's going to be a uh, conversation for the for the old dinner table? Oh, God. No. I hope. Oh, I'll stay away from that. Fuck. So also one last pro tip. Yes. Usually I play if I don't. If this conversation like that comes about, I sit there and pretend like I didn't hear anything. Uh-huh. This kind of, and then the John, John, huh? Uh, oh. I wasn't listening. Sorry, Obama. Uh, I, wasn't I mean, what? Uh, I wasn't listening. Yeah, that's good. That's probably good to play it off, or you just sometimes it's better to just remove yourself from the situation. Yeah, if it gets sideways into that, you know, just leave. Yeah. Go go refill your wine and then go catch the the Redskins. My, um, I live by Cowboys this. Game. I live by this. Especially when it comes to politics and when they start discussing it, you mm-hmm. know, what do you think? It doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm not going to change your mind and you're not going to change my mind. And what are we going to solve? So yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's we're not, true. We're not going to discuss it. As, as your dad, who's a staunch conservative, has he ever gotten a fight with your uh, your his mother-in-law and like, you know what? I'm voting Democrat next yeah. time, next turn. Like that's <laughs> never fucking current. happened. No. So uh, yeah, don't bother with it. I'm never gonna bother with. That's it. a good that point, matter. Cerny. That's good wisdom to end on. <laughs> Very good. Pro tip. Until next Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. Cheers. Follow the Chip and Cern Show at chipandcernshow dot com, Facebook and Twitter. Listen at Chip and Cern Show iTunes, Libsyn, SoundCloud, Google Play, and more. Support the Chip and Cern Show on Patreon and chipandcernshow.com slash shop. Let us know how we're doing some feedback. Chipandcernshow at gmail.com. But most importantly, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger. Chipandcernshow.com.